Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Boku no Hero Academia review, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka My Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army, and let's get right into the review. Now, my good friend Chaotic Plus and me were talking about this chapter on Twitter, and he also posted um, some information, like a quick note, where basically it was in My Hero Academia Once Justice, the game Toga actually could take people's quirk and use it and also transform like them. And it was like a little thing. So this didn't come out of nowhere. So shout out to Chaotic Plus for pointing that out because a lot of people when something happens in My Hero Academia where they're not paying close attention to it, they're like, oh, this is just Horikoshi just pulling things out of a hat like this, like a rabbit hat. Um, but no, that is not the case. Horikoshi plans things out. And as a writer, I got to give Horikoshi props for what what he has been doing because when you write a story like a lot of mine because know the ending and know a lot of events that's going to lead to the ending and he probably has been planning this for a long time because we know what toga's quirk allows her to do initially it was just to transform into somebody if she consumes enough of their blood and that's about it but later on her quirk got some addition to it where she could transform into the person and also utilize their quirk now in this chapter toga was kind of shocked and surprised he was like oh chaco's quirk and hisuki said oh it's because you fear death on um, your power your quirk is becoming even stronger but that was not the case um toga basically says i saw chaco how she uses her quirk and i just did the same thing and it activated so that is really interesting. Now, me personally, I do not think that Toga will be able to copy everybody's quirk, no matter how much blood she consumes. I think mutated quirk like Aries quirk, um, then also different type of quirks like mutated quirk, and also Midoriya's one for all quirk. I don't think that's going to work. And if it does work, and Toga tries to use Midoriya's quirk if she gets you know enough of his blood or whatever, I think she's gonna like blow up her body because. Uh, Midoriya was actually scared of somebody, I forgot his name in class 1B, copying um, his quirk and actually blowing up because their body couldn't handle one for all. Now this fight, I do gotta say it was really good. We got more of Toga's backstory, how she basically killed this kid in her class that she liked. Well, didn't kill him. She gravely injured him and started sucking his blood from a straw. And the students were just devastated. They were like, oh man, she used to be such a nice girl. Like what happened to her? Her parents even call her a devil's child. Like her parents since the beginning when she was younger and you know, she loved blood and all that stuff because her quirk has to do with blood. They're like, oh man, can you just act normal? We just want you to have a normal li uh, life. Don't, you know, don't have that creepy smile or anything like that. So basically, I was right uh, last week's chapter. I did talk about Toga wearing a mask for a lot of her life just because she was suppressing who she was. And even before that, like I made a Himiko Toga discussion video a long time ago, I think last year or something, where I talked about Toga's potential backstory, how she may have always been like this and she might have killed animals in place of humans before. And she did kind of kill that bird. Well, the bird was gravely injured. I don't know if it died or not. And she was just sucking his blood so um it's really cool when you know some things come true because i made countless my hair academia discussions and then horikoshi does a complete 180 and does something completely different um from that so i do got to say the utilization of a chaco's quirk that toga used was really crazy now back to my conversation with chaotic plus i was asking him the is kisuki dead or is she not but then he sent me a panel like, yeah, she's dead because she was going to, she said, this is going to be my best story yet. And then she just died without finishing her sentence. And Toga, I also reread the chapter. She actually did say, you know, Midoriya wouldn't do this, but you know, we kill the things we don't like. So Kisuki is actually dead. Toga actually won the battle. And it was a hard fought, fought battle because Toga was not only fighting Kisuki, she was fighting Kisuki and her followers which were willing to sacrifice their bodies just to explode their blood and, you know, really injure Toga. And Toga, her physical injuries are there. Like, she's just worn out and she, like, escaped into an alleyway somewhere. So, definitely do gotta say, it was really a good chapter. And to the quirk counseling thing, where basically people suppress their quirks, which in turn affects their emotions because they lose self of who they truly are. Because if you're a person born with a quirk 
and then out of nowhere you have to suppress or record who you are just because society doesn't accept that obviously you're gonna lose track of like your true self who you are truly and toga is probably the same way um in that regard so i do gotta say really great chapter um i was nice to see more of toga's backstory that's really awesome i want to see spinner has ideals and stuff as he fights the superpower liberation army or the quirk liberation army whichever you prefer to call it and yeah um shigaraki all of them are fighting right now and this arc i do got to say that horikoshi is doing a great job in the author comments like before i said that horikoshi said he's going to try to make this the best arc yet in my hero academia and it's looking like it's going to get there but for me personally the overhaul arc is still my favorite arc in my hero academia and i think it's still the best arc in my hero academia but i think this is a close second to um that arc so overall i'm gonna give this chapter an 8.5 out of 10 i hope you enjoyed this review and if you did remember to have a great day peace